you guys welcome back to my vegan kitchen i've got a valentine's day treat for you today you can make this for somebody that you love or make it for yourself well hopefully you love yourself i do love myself you got to start at home right so this is for boston cream donuts <laughs> you've got your cream filling you've got your chocolate ganache on the top you've got the fluffy uh, donut part and we're not going to fry it today, so it's going to be this much healthier. And it's going to be cheap. You've got all these ingredients in your house probably already. So first thing that we're going to do is proof our yeast. And I'm doubling this recipe today because I want extra donuts. I'm bringing some for my mom who I love and I'm going to have some left over for Valentine's Day, which is Wednesday, a few days away. So I'm going to need a lot because I'm going to be eating these all along the way. So I have some sugar here i'm using some monk fruit sweetener this is zero calories zero glycemic it's autism approved i just saw that on there i was like what that's cool and it tastes good i've used this before it's it's nice so i've got my sugar i've got my yeast i got a fresh packet of yeast here so that uh i'm sure it's gonna work but i'm just gonna check it anyway because i don't want to go through the whole thing and then have not cool i've got some lukewarm water it's like ooh, I could just slip into a bath of this right now but I won't I'm just gonna use it to proof my yeast so we're going to just let this sit for a few minutes or until you see bubbles happening then you know it's alive but in the meantime I've got my flour over here in the bowl we're gonna be doing this in the mixer but you don't need a mixer to do this you could totally do it by hand, but why bother if you've got a mixer? It's so much easier to just flip that switch. I'm going to stir in some uh, baking powder and just hold that aside. I also want to tell you guys this is going to be done in three parts. We're going to be doing the cake part of the donut, a risen donut. We're going to be doing the filling and we're going to be doing the chocolate glaze. It's three parts, but it's one video. So this is looking pretty promising here. You can see it's kind of getting a little bit foamy. That's good enough for me. All right, so to this, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of golden flax. Um, this is the same thing as regular flax. This is ground, but it's golden. It's lighter in color. It's like when they say in a recipe to use white pepper. It's so it doesn't look like a mouse got in your recipe and made little turds in it. So Ew. <laughs> that's why we're using the golden flax because it's going to be the same color as the donut. It's not going to look like ew. That was that supposed to be in there. It's going to be nice. I'm going to use some olive oil as my oil today, but you can use coconut oil. You could use any kind of oil you want that's not that strong tasting because you don't want it to taste like focaccia. <laughs> But this is a good one. This does not have a strong taste. Yes, there's a bit of oil in this. There's a bit of sugar. But you know what? It's a treat and not something that you should eat at every meal. So it's okay. I'm just going to mix this up. And then we're going to take this over to the mixer. All right, we're ready to mix. I've got my uh, bowl on the KitchenAid here. I'm going to put all of this in. <laughs> just dump it in. You know, they say sometimes do it a little bit at a time. This one you can just dump right in. It's coming together pretty quickly. I'm going to put my lock on so that this isn't rocking and rolling all over the counter. But you're going to want an elastic dough, not too wet, not too dry. It's looking very good right now. If your dough is too dry, what I like to do is put a little bit of non-dairy milk in, like a teaspoon or a tablespoon at a time, and just let it mix a little bit more. You want to develop the gluten so you have a nice spongy donut. Let's see. This looks perfect. I'm not even going to add anything. I'm just going to let this go for another two minutes. And then I'm going to oil my bowl over here. I got this microwave bowl at Kohl's. It's uh, made for popcorn in the microwave, but I use it for so much more than that. You can steam vegetables in here and you can also use it to put your dough in. So I'm just going to Put my dough in here, put it in a warm place for about an hour, and then we'll be back. All right, we're ready to make the filling. The donut dough is rising. This is going to have to be cooked on the stove, and we're going to want to cool it off so that it is completely cool by the time we put it in the donuts. Otherwise, it's going to make it soggy and gross. In the pan here, I have sugar, flour. I'm going to add uh, some coconut oil. If you don't like the taste of coconut, 
or if you want to use a different type of oil that's fine but I recommend using a refined coconut oil not as good as extra virgin but it's virtually tasteless so you don't want a strong flavor in this because you want the flavor of the vanilla cream to come through hey we're gonna add vanilla <laughs> whoa we're gonna add some vanilla we're also going to add uh, for brightness some lemon you can use a fresh lemon of course I'm lazy and the price of whoops the price of lemons has really gone through the roof lately so I'm just gonna use this squeezy one whoa that really goes all over yeah, doesn't it, does. it? Alright, and final ingredient in this is non-dairy milk. And make sure that you get one that is unsweetened because there's already sugar in here. And if you put a sweetened non-dairy milk in with the sugar, it's, it's going to be too much. I'm sorry, it's just too much. <laughs> so we're going to put in two cups of that. Now, very important, you want to um, whisk this before you add the heat to it because <laughs> that flour is going to thicken up and you don't want big lumps of flour in there so get it mixed a little bit before we get it on the stove just so we don't have any lumps and then we're going to take it over to the stove all right let's get our flame on medium low and you're going to want to whisk this because you don't want it to burn on the bottom Nothing's worse than having it burn on the bottom and the whisk hits some of that burntness and it's like little speckles of grossness in your pastry cream. You don't want that. So this is going to take a little bit, but you want to make sure that you just keep it moving. Keep it moving so that um, it's going to be super smooth and you won't be sorry. You're going to bring it up to a simmer. It's going to start to get thick. All right, you can see now it's getting nice and thick. It's getting glossy. Oh, baby. You don't want to overdo it. Do not run away and do the laundry or take a phone call while this is on the stove. This has got to be your best friend for about 10 minutes. And you just need to really stand over this because it's not um, very forgiving. You're going to have to start all over if you burn it on the bottom. Just a little tricky. Just thought I'd warn you. But you want this to cook for just a little bit because you do not want the raw taste of the flour in your pastry cream. Just, you know, just a little bit. It's getting quite thick now. My arm is hurting a little bit because <laughs> I've been mixing it. I think I'm going to let it go just another 30 seconds. And then over here I have a bowl. I'm going to um, put it in here. I'm going to put cling film over the top. But the thing is you want the cling film to touch the cream so that you don't get a skin on it because nobody wants a skin in their donut here we go oh beautiful oh yeah right don't put it in the fridge right away let it sit at room temp for a little bit because um you don't want it to get watery you don't want it to break you don't want the liquids to separate so just let it come to um a little bit cooler and then we're going to pop this in the fridge and then we'll be back working on the donuts. All right, this is what it should look like. It should be touching everywhere so that when it cools off, it doesn't, you don't get that pudding skin that everybody likes so much from the bowl. You don't want to bite into that in your donut. All right, guys, we're ready to roll. This has been rising. You can see it didn't rise all that much. This part of the rise is not that important after we cut out the donuts and let it rise that's crucial because it has to double in size. So I'm going to um, break this into two parts just so that it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to work with half at a time. If your dough is too sticky and it's sticking, use a little flour. This one is pretty much perfect. It's a little bit sticky but not so much. I've got my rolling pin. You don't want to roll it out too too much because then it's just going to take that much longer to rise and you don't want these too thin anyway you want them about three-eighths of an inch all right so I don't have a cookie cutter I mean I do I just don't know where it is we're just gonna use a mason jar to cut out our donut shape well I'm gonna have to press a little bit harder than that give it a little twist comes right out we're not doing the hole in the middle because these are gonna be filled if you don't want these filled and you just want the glaze without the pastry cream you still don't have to do the hole in the middle but you can and it makes it look more like donuts so I have um, some parchment paper on a cookie sheet and I'm just gonna put this on here 
We're gonna fill this up and we're gonna let it rise for another hour at least and then we're gonna be ready to bake. All right guys, here they are all rolled out. I like to give it a quick spritz with the coconut oil or the avocado oil before I let them rise. I put some cling wrap on the top so that they don't dry out. You can't really put a a warm dish towel on the top because you don't want anything to stick to these. I have an extra, this was the little extra part that was left over. Very important, my dad always told me that that was for the baker. So who's ever making these, you get first dibs on the little irregular one. All right, here we are one hour later and all of my donuts have risen quite nicely. I'm going to double up on my pans. I'm gonna put like this because I'm going to put it at the bottom of the toaster oven and I don't want the bottom to burn. So I'm just going to heat up my oven to 350 which has been preheating already and I'm going to pop these in for about 8 to 12 minutes depending on your oven. So make sure you don't go away and do something. Set a timer because these will go south very quickly. So make sure that you're right on top of it. Just brown nicely on the top. Not too light, not too dark. All right, all of the donuts have been baked. These have cooled off and I took a serrated knife and I sliced them almost all of the way through because I don't want to stress out about sticking something in there and filling it. Let's just take the easy way out and slice it nicely, put the cream in and then glaze it. So now it's the time that we're making the glaze. I've got some coconut oil already in here that I had melted. I've got my uh, raw cacao powder. You could use cocoa powder if you don't have um, cacao. I've got my almond milk. I'm gonna do six tablespoons. So that is a quarter of a cup and then half of a quarter of a cup. This is a little forgiving. It doesn't have to be completely exact because if it's too loose or too tight, just add more liquid or uh, powdered sugar, it should be fine. A little bit of vanilla, of course. And then final ingredient is the confectioner sugar. And yes, there is a lot of it in here. There's three cups, but you know what? This is like fluffy, super fine powdered sugar. When it melts down, it's like less than three cups, but it's three cups measured. So it seems like a lot. But you know what? You're only getting a little bit of glaze on each donut, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So that's one, <laughs> two. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh crap, that doesn't seem like it's ever gonna mix because that's like a lot of sugar, but you'll see this melts down by a lot. You're just gonna mix and mix and mix until it's all ganache. All right, so this seems a little bit tight, a little too thick. So we're gonna just add the tiniest bit of almond milk. This is gonna harden up once you dip the uh, donuts in it. So don't be worried that it seems like, whoa, that's really liquidy. That's much better. Make sure you get all of the lumps out. You don't want any lumps of sugar or cacao in there. All right, now we're ready to assemble. Assembly line, ready. So let's pull off our wrap. You might want to give this a nice stir just to get it a little bit up to room temperature. All right, so we've got one of our donuts. We're just gonna put a bunch of filling that in there. That looks like a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, you want it like a cream puff, right? I don't know, do you? I do. I like a lot of filling. Nice. Then we're going to well, I was dipping these the other day, but I think um, it would be much less messy if you just put a little bit on the top and then just did that. Mm. Then we have our tray over here that we're gonna put these on. And then it's sprinkle time. That is so beautiful. Doesn't that say, I, I love, love you? you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. Now get the rest of these filled immediately. All right, we've got a donut flyover. Whoa, that is just too much deliciousness all at once, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. That. So Maddie's here to taste the love. I just want to eat all of them, but I also just want to stare at them. Yeah, just take that little They're baby so pretty. one. So pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, I guess <laughs> that reaction says it all. Can you hold up so they can see a little wow. cross section of? Uh, yeah. I. 
get so sad when I go to like Dunkin' Donuts with my friends and they'll get something and Ooh. I'm just like, oh, because it looks so beautiful, but those are now vegan. These are. Yeah. They are spectacular. Well, I hope you enjoy them. Happy um, Valentine's yeah, yeah, Day. I love that. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I hope you guys give these a shot. They look really nice. They taste really nice. Where else are you gonna get vegan donuts? I mean, they're easy. So you can you can do it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this type of video. If you make them, let us know. Put it on Insta and tag us. Subscribe for more. And until next time, happy Valentine's Day and much love.